found some of the cheapest advent calendars that I could find on Amazon and I bought them all to try them out. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I think I found the best of the cheapest on Amazon and I wanted to see and open them up and try and tell you guys if they're worth it or not. I wanna put all the links to these below in the description box so you can check them out yourself, but I have a lot of different options, so let's get started. We have a lot of calendars to get through, so I'm gonna go through them as quickly as I can. I will also list the prices that I paid on screen. So they might be the same price now. I might've used a coupon that was available at the time, but I definitely did try to get a variety. This one is supposed to be a Christmas tree. So there is a main Christmas tree here and every day you get a little ornament to attach to it. This one is already coming apart, like bells already coming out. So I'm not quite sure of the quality. This was included when I opened it. I think this is the play scene. There's a little fold here that you can fold it up and it's double-sided. I don't know exactly what that is, but here's our calendar and it's popping open. So, and <laughs> <laughs> things are moving inside of there. So I'm not even sure if I were to open up the days that the pieces are gonna be in the right spots. Already not a good sign. Where's number one? Here's number one down here. And number one is right by number 20. So it just kind of popped open and already. What in the world? There's nothing there. What is going on? That was not impressive. There's supposed to be something there. There's nothing there. Let's go to number two, which is way up here. Struggle is real and it's missing. Maybe that was the bell that was supposed to be in there. Number three. We got something for number three and it's one of the ornaments. It's a really tiny ornament. It looks like a person. Day three, we got covered. Oh, there's another two over here though. Let's try the other number two. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Number four. Number four looks like a snowman. And there are two number fives, one over here and one over here. This one is not easy to open. Nothing, it must have slid. Number five over here, nothing, it must have slid. Six, nothing, two sevens. Aha, a bell. Would you say that's a bell? Try the other seven, nothing. Eight. <laughs> A bell. The bells are supposed to go on the ends of the Christmas tree. So that was eight. We need nine. Nothing. Ten. <laughs> nothing. Another ten. Aha, there's something in this one. Another snowman. That snowman's probably the cutest out of the bunch. We need eleven. It is a train. And this train has like a little um, stick on the bottom. So I think that's supposed to go into the base of the tree. There's something else in here that must have slid down. It's a Christmas tree. 12, it's another part of the train. 13, it's way up high. Person, or is that supposed to be a Santa Claus? Not sure, verdict's still out on that one. Uh, 14, it fell out. 15, fell out. 16, fell out. 17, fell out. 17 over here. Ooh, we got something in this one. This is another bell and a ornament. 18, 18, 18. 18 had a bell. 19. Oh, this is part of the train too. This one's cute, a little snowman. 20, which was close to the one, which is empty. This one had a white tree. 22 and 23 are way up here. Another person. Nothing in 23 and then 24 is right next to it. Ooh, 24 had something. Although I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Okay, so here's what we got. The rest have to be in here somewhere. The center actually has a preparation to cut out the tree. It's hard to see it because it's not outlined. So you're supposed to tear apart the cr middle for the tree itself. This is not, this is a mess. We're just gonna, we're gonna have to, that wasn't pretty. All right, so here we have our tree. Okay, the tree itself, that's pretty nice. There's little hooks on them so you can hang all of your little ornaments on there. Here are the remaining bells that fell, which was disappointing because they weren't in their spots. And then we had some ornaments left. One, two, three, four. Looked like another snowman ornament and some bell ornaments that had some different patterns on them. And then here is the base that the tree sits on, which is actually, this is pretty decent quality. The tree and decoration itself, that's actually really cute. So when you put these little ornaments in, you just hang them on the tree. There's little hooks and then they hang in between there. I'm gonna set this all up so you can see how it looks. So the Christmas tree itself is a really cute decoration. I am not sure it's worth the price. So you're paying for the advent calendar experience and that experience did not work. So even for the price of this being an extremely affordable advent calendar, this one is gonna get a thumbs down. The tree is nice. The ornaments are a little, I don't know, something left to be desired there. Thumbs down. Up next is one from a company called Magic Box. It says it has 24 prizes in here, and this is a Magic Props advent calendar. It sounds like there's a lot of stuff in there. You just open up the front, see a manual. So this is how to use all of the tricks inside of here. And it looks like there's even little QR codes that you can go and watch a video. It's pretty thick too. It looks like a big 
big box. Everything looks really clearly labeled. There's nothing on here that has to do with Christmas. My kids are really excited about this one. They've already asked for the pieces after we're opened. So let's find number one, which is over here, the super tiny one. I'm having a really hard time getting that open. There we go. Had to push it in and I'm not quite sure what I'm opening here. Uh, I think I know now. Okay, so this one goes all the way up to the top. It is a magic wand, a trick magic wand, mind you. So I'm not sure what the trick is on this one, but it looks like it comes apart. Number two is way up here at the top. And there's also a little die in here. I'm not sure if that goes with this trick or not. Super tiny. So all of these things are supposed to be for magic tricks. And I guess I'll get into the, what the magic tricks are once I open things. Number three. I'm not sure what it is, and a coin that was in there. It's like a little, one of those little squiggly toys that you can maneuver and make it look like it's alive and moving. I don't know what they're called. I don't know if this book goes by day. Oh yeah, it does. So the first one's magic wand. The second one is a predictive gyro. And then this is the seahorse elf. So it goes day by day. So you know exactly what it is by going by the book. All right, number four is way down here at the bottom. I'm finding these coins, but I don't think that it's for this trick. I have two now. I think it's for a different trick that just fell in the box. I have this. I don't know what this is for. This is a... Oh, maybe the coin is for that. It says it's airborne currency. So it has a trick to do with the money. Number five. Oh, I know that this is, is the coin slot trick. Okay, so I get a little magic trick prop there. Up here, number six. This one is called the colorful prediction brick. So I'm not sure how that trick works. Number seven. These perforations are not easy. I can't even tell where to open them. And my hands are too big to get in there to <laughs> get this stuff out. All right, we got a couple pieces in here. Some boxes, some rubber bands, a ball. This is called through the iron wall. And then eight's way up here too. So let's go ahead and just <laughs> rip off eight like this. This trick is called biscuit restoration. This looks like an Oreo cookie and like you have to do something with the Oreo cookie, maybe put it back together. Number nine. This one is called key wearing coins. I do like that so far everything actually looks like a trick that you can learn. Like you can learn one trick a day and the actual pieces of the trick are pretty decent quality for the price. I mean, they're just plastic, but I think that they're pretty decent and what you might buy in a trick shop. This is a little water jug and it's called um, pour water without leakage. So there's something inside of there and looks like a little water jug. Into 11, this is a rope restore trick. 12, that's a substantial one. Another cup trick. This is three different gold cups in that package. 12 and 13's up here. This is a coin vanishing trick. And these are like adding up. Here's to be a deck of cards and not just any cards, magic trick cards, very important. 15, ooh, there's two in here. Oh wait, number 14. Had something else. This was called different lengths. So it's like a little optical illusion trick here. So that was also in that card thing. This one is coin transfer trick using these cups. I am tearing at this box just cause it's so hard to get the stuff out. Inside here is a piece of cardboard. Here we go. It's a pen. This trick is called pen penetration. Next is 17. Aha, here is our chain and ring. This trick is called sun moon ring and it has a little ring and a chain. 18 in the very top, which is totally tore up. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. <laughs> this is a finger and a little red paper. <laughs> this is quite funny. It's a silk vanishing trick, which is, it's just, that, that is funny. Okay. And this one's called explosion dice. So we have a little container here with t a few different dice in there. I am just messing up this entire box, but what can I do? I think 20 was supposed to be the playing cards. 20 is supposed to be playing cards. 21 down here. It just got moved around when I was opening. This is a bank note printing machine. So it just basically, you put bills in here and you print it and make it a bigger bill. And this is actually a nice quality one. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. This one's called Pandora's Box. 23, we're almost done with this one. Sun, Moon, and Holy Grail is what this trick is called. We actually bought this one a couple years ago from the Target Dollar section. And my kids were really young and I was able to surprise them with this trick. They had no idea how it worked. And then 24, way up here in the corner, aha, little sponge balls. And this trick is called Magic Sponge Heart. 
I think I got it all. I totally did destroy that whole entire box though. And just double check. Oh, there's another coin in here. That one was definitely a much better experience in opening. And look at all of the magic tricks you get in this one. I'd say this is pretty worth it considering a lot of times on Amazon, one of these tricks is gonna cost you a couple dollars. And then in addition to that, you have the book here that tells you how to do the trick, explains it, and looks like there's even a little video you can go watch. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. This one I got because I have a child that does like all of the geodes and rocks and things like this. This one is called Advent Calendar Explore Science and Nature to Relax Your Body and Mind. I can totally hear him shaking around there. So this is supposed to be gemstones. Oh, look, it opens up pretty nice. And there's a guide here too that you can compare it to and see which ones you got and learn about them. It says open this window. So let's open this window first. I am tearing up this box now. So this one has a little velvet pouch in here. Let's inside. Oh, and look, there's a magnifying glass, a chain to make a necklace, these little pendants that you could put your gemstones in, something else. Oh, and a key ring so you can make a keychain. That's pretty nice. So it gives you a little something extra to do after you open all these. All right, so first one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of speed through this opening because they're all gonna be the same type of material, just different colors and different types of stones. Let me just get through this and then I can show you what was inside. Here are the first five. And I'd have to say for the size of these, like these are not wimpy as far as size goes and they're a really good weight. Love that they're polished. And let me do the next five. Here are the next five. Definitely love that purple one. Next five. And then I did get one that wasn't polished. I don't know if that one normally does get polished or not, but I did get one of those. The next five with a couple more unpolished ones. And then the last four unpolished. Quite a great selection. I do like that you can do something additional afterwards, make some jewelry, make a keychain. You can examine them with the magnifying glass, you store them in the pouch, and you have your guide here of all the stones. This one, especially for the price, is gonna be getting a thumbs up. Next up, we have this Merry Christmas advent calendar. It says it's for ages six and up. Let's get this open. Aha. Okay, this had a cover on it. Purposeful? No. Not really. Starting off with number one. I couldn't even remember what was in here. Oh, now I do. This is the Lego calendar. Actually, it's not really Lego or like the generic Lego. Building blocks is what they say. They do have the instructions, I think, in the little package. This is a snake. I don't think there's any way I can build this really quickly. Is there? Maybe. This is where I need my kids and perhaps my glasses. There you go. If Christina can do it, then you certainly can do it too. This one turned out to be a snake and it took me like two minutes, one minute to complete. Very simple and it actually moves. Look at that. That was fun. I liked that one. All right, let's see what else we got inside this one. So there is a snake. This one is a dragon, a squirrel, a penguin, which looks really, really cute. I like the penguin a lot. Number five almost looks like a, like a turtle. Number six is going to be a lion. Number seven is a horse. Number eight is a sheep. Number nine, a crocodile. 10 is an elephant. But this one's a panda. Nope, I'm wrong, it's another sheep. Number 11 is another sheep. Number 12 is a parrot. I like how there's all different colors for each one of these two. Number 13, Monkey, 14, rooster, 15, rabbit, 16, mouse, 17 is a dog, 18 is a rhino, 19 is another dog, 20 is a pig, this better not be another dog, 21 is a tiger, 22 is a cow, 23 is a rooster, and then 24 should be a reindeer, right? <laughs> no, it's not. It is a hippo for number 24. This one is definitely fun. It came with what it said it was going to come with. It opened up nicely, and it was a nice little small project to do. Definitely much more affordable than the name brand ones right now, because those name brand advent calendars are really, really expensive unless you can get it on sale. So we're going to give this one, especially for the price, a thumbs up. Here we have an advent calendar that are premium puzzles, and the box is really nice. It says there's 108 pieces in here in total. I was excited to try this because we do like doing puzzles 
especially around Christmas. This box is so nice, like much better than that first advent calendar that we opened up. Here's what the main puzzle is supposed to look like. So I think these interlock and go all together to make one giant puzzle. This is huge, by the way, really big. I wonder if the puzzle ends up being that big. And we have individual boxes to open up. Here's a number one. And so this will be your puzzle for day one. Okay, the quality on this is so nice. On the back of the puzzle pieces, it actually tells you what box it came out of. So this is box one. So they all have little ones on the backs of the pieces. So if you wanted to redo this, you know, year after year, you could pull it out again and do it. The puzzle pieces themselves are definitely what I would expect from a quality puzzle. This is really, really nice. Now I'm not gonna put together all 24 days. It does make a really cute Christmas scene. It's like a front door with Christmas trees and all kinds of Christmas decorations all over the scene, some snow and a little snowman. But each puzzle works by itself and then you add it all together to make the bigger puzzle. So you're doing like a progressive puzzle every day until you reach 24 and that will be your last section. This one just by the quality compared to the price and some of the other calendars I've seen and the fact that you get to do something after you open it definitely is gonna get a thumbs up. Don't forget, I'm gonna put the links down below. So if you saw one that you liked and wanna get, I have it all there for you. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.